Hi everyone, I'm Yihao. Today I'll share our project, Say It All, Feedback for Improving Non-Visual Presentation Accessibility. This work was collab with June and advised by Jeff and Amy. Presenters often do not describe the content on their slides. Here's an example. Anyway, so uh, we did the study and you know, basically the audio captures are a lot harder. Not surprising. So the presenter didn't describe his slides which include a graph and the study information like the number of participants, which in this case was 162. When presenters do not describe the content on their slides, people who are blind and visually impaired will miss out on the information in the presentation, making it inaccessible. But how often do speakers fail to fully describe their slides in practice? To find out, we analyzed 90 presentation videos in the wild. The video clips contain 269 slides and 1,650 total slide elements, half of which were text and the other half are media. Two people coded the speaker verbal coverage of each slide elements as none, little, half, most, and complete. Overall, presenters didn't fully describe their slides, leaving out key information for about 72% of slide elements. When presenters are explicitly trying to create an accessible presentation, they can use guidelines like those from W3C or Seek Access. They suggest that speakers should describe all pertinent visual information on their slides and use minimum visuals. However, it can still be challenging for presenters to remember to describe their slides. So the goal of our work is to help presenters make their presentation accessible. And towards this goal, we present presentation outline, the tools that give automatic feedback to help presenters describe their slides. Presentation outline provides real-time feedback and post-presentation feedback. The real-time feedback interface augments the existing Google Slides presenter view to give presenters feedback on what they have and haven't described. In this video, the interface highlights the slide text, create a colorful circle brush and an image depicting the circle brush, as the speaker described them. First, we'll create a colorful circle brush. And you'll see the squiggly line pictured on the right with these rainbow circles sort of getting wider and smaller as it goes. Presenters can also turn on or off the feedback display. On the other hand, our post-presentation feedback interface augments the Google Slide Editor to let users review their results. Users can quickly identify what slides they did and did not describe well by glancing at the slide overview. It shows poorly described slides in red. When editing each individual slides, presentation outline highlights the element they were described during the presentation in green. A results panel shows the slides coverage percentage, the transcript recording during a talk, and a specific suggestion for how to make the slide more accessible. The interface updates the coverage percentage as the presenters added the slides. Or edits the transcripts to add the descriptions. We invited 60 people to present and reveal their own slides with presentation outline. Users presented half of the slides with real-time feedback and half without. After presentation, they review their slides with and without our post-presentation feedback. Presentation analyzes real-time feedback how people describe significantly more of the text and image than the default interface. For text, people cover 57% of text with and 46% of text with our system. People achieve an image coverage score of 3.5 out of 5 with and 3.1 out of 5 with our system. In addition, the post-presentation feedback help people identify significantly more accessibility chance to make in the future than they did with our feedback. People identify 2.3 changes with our system and 0.7 without. In the future, we plan to provide people more granular feedback on how to describe their image and diagrams. Also, our current interface is not accessible for blind and low vision presenters because it relies on visual for feedback. We plan to make a screen reader accessible tool in the future. Finally, we plan to deploy the tool as a Google Chrome extension. With that, I would like to end my talk. For info more information, you can find it at sadatall.github.io. Thank you.